welcome to lecture number 2 so today we'll discuss eye defects and this is the normal structure of human eye and where we'll get the image on the retina okay as we have discussed in the previous class what are the functions of each part of human eye and today we are going to discuss the eye defects and there are basically three types of defects are there for the human eye and today we'll discuss uh, one of those defects that is myopia and uh, for the people those who are suffering from myopia defect where we'll get the image is it before retina or on the retina or behind the retina so by seeing that uh, by after this class you will be able to answer the question so what is myopia and how to correct this defect so what are the causes to get this defect so okay so you will be able to answer the questions about myopia defect after this lecture i shall move to the concept look at here this is a normal structure and these are the light rays which are incending on the ui and they are intersecting at point on the retina okay now we will see the defect of myopia so defect of human eye basically there are two defects and the third defect is presbyopia the first defect is myopia is also known as near sightedness and second one is hypermetropia is also known as far sightedness and third one is presbyopia so today we will discuss the myopia concept in this lecture number 2 now look at here myopia is also known as what we call near sightedness what is near sightedness look at this this image the object which is at far distance or far away and this is near by object and this is the human eye structure if you observe these two objects and which objects image we are getting on the retina here you can see that the patent view of this structure of near objects it means what we can say when object is placed in front of the human eye the person who is suffering with defect myopia they can see near objects they can see near objects and but they cannot see far away objects so it means up to a certain distance only they can able to see the objects after the from that uh, from that point they can't see is it clear so what is myopia here the person who is suffering with defect myopia they can't see the far distance objects so how to show that then where we will get the image of that object which, which is placed at infinity we'll see in this lecture look at here this is the human eye structure and this is near object and this is far away object now this is the eye structure and let me explain you the again the parts which we have discussed in the lecture number 1 and this is the outer boundary of the human eye and then this is a uh, pupil black color ball and this is a lens biconvex lens and here is the portion where we will get the image and that name is retina okay and the outer boundary is cornea okay and here aqueous humor is there iris and optic now uh, this is these are optic nerves which transfer the data and here is ciliary muscles to to support the lens here to expand or to compress or to contrast okay the person who is suffering with the defect myopia how will get the image where will get the image of that uh, particular object which is placed at uh, some distance look at here and the object which is at a uh, far distance for example basically this is the clear image for normal eye okay the person who is not having any defect for that person if object is at infinity or at any distance long distance object simply will get the image exactly on retina you can see that always the type of image is is it uh, upward or downward so it is inverted image what we will call this is inverted image inverted means reverse okay and at the same time if you observe this here always will get the image is on retina diminished only not a same size when object is placed at a far away distance means a far away of a little bit uh, away from the eyes 
diminished and always real image we will call you know very well what is real what is diminished and what is inverted you have studied in your optics like mirrors and lenses real image inverted image and diminished image here when object is placed at far distance okay now look at here the person who is suffering with myopia how will get the image where we will get that one okay now look at the size of the eye structure eyeball and then the this is for normal eye and now look at here for defected eye this is a normal eye structure if you observe clearly this defect may arise due to the elongation of eyeball means this is our eyeball gets elongated it gets elongate it means the shape is not in the form of sphere or circle okay if you see in the form of 2d it may be a circle if you see in the form of 3d it may be a sphere and now you look at here it gets elongated here is it right now where will get the image c is it exactly on the retina or before retina the light rays from the distance object this is the distance object the light rays from a distance object arriving at the eyes lens these are the or biconvex lens gets converged at a point in front of retina not exactly on retina in front of this is retina and image the point at which all the light rays will converge that is our focus point actually here and the image is formed before retina all light rays are converging before retina means you can see here what is the difference between the previous image and this image the previous image was clear and this image is unclear means for normal eye this is the defected eye for normal eye will get clear image is it right for the defected eye will not get clear image so how to correct this defect which type of lens we should use to correct this defect okay and what are the characteristics to get this uh, defect actually how will get this one due to the elongation of eyeball is it right and due to the weakness of uh, what we call this nerves uh, what we call these ciliary muscles okay whenever gets compressed or expand means elongate means uh, change change in focal length of the lens also change in focal length of lens whenever the focal length of the lens gets changes automatically the position of image also changes this is one point another point is whenever the uh, any whenever elongation is occur uh, takes place in this eyeball then the position of image gets changed or the position of converging point converging light rays position is gets changed it means will not get clear image on retina so simply what we can say here the person who is suffering with defect myopia and uh, for them the always lateral will converge before retina or in front of retina is it clear so how to correct this defect look at here correction so what we need here we need to converge those light rays or diverge those light rays yeah excellent that is we should converge uh, instead of converging uh, we should diverge those light rays to get to converge on retina initially they are converging somewhere before retina is it right if you diverge diverging means uh, to move away from that place that is what we call diverging if you diverge these light rays simply instead of moving in this path let uh, they will diverge and they will move like this okay and they will converge at one point on retina so you know very well which type of lenses are called as diverging lens you have studied in your optics chapter that is a refraction concept that is by concave lens by concave lens is also known as diverging lens diverging lens so what is the shape of the converge by concave lens where we should keep that one 
yeah that's great the people those who are suffering with myopia defect they are having the spectacles with this biconcave lens sir how to identify this by the reader the given a uh, lens is having biconcave or biconvex very simple by touching the surface of the convex or concave surface only you can say that if it has the surface of the lens if in between if the middle surface is thin and the corner surface is thick then simply we will call it as biconcave is it clear if the corner surface is thin and middle surface is thick this is the middle surface if it is thick and the corner surface is thin then this is biconvex means biconvex surface always bulge outward and biconcave surface always bulge inward okay so this lens is also known as diverging lens and this lens is also known as converging lens converging lens is it right that's great now look at here so well, here we should converge or diverge these light rays that's great we should diverge those light rays why because they already converged at some point before retina if you diverge them they will converge little bit away from this point away from means from this point means on the retina or behind retina somewhere so but we have to fix that focal length exact focal length okay once you fix the focal length of that lens then exactly you will get the uh, converging point on the retina then you will get clear image so look at here how to convert those light rays with the help of this diverging lens so this defect can be array, can be corrected by using a concave diverging lens concave is also known as diverging lens you can see here whenever the light rays which are coming parallel to each other from a far distance object or far away objects all light rays which are coming are parallel to each once the in, uh, incident on this lens diverging lens look at here how the light rays are gets diverge is it right once they get diverse again they are incenting on the surface of biconvex lens the human eye having is a type of lens is biconvex is it right once they convert once they incident on this lens and it is we know very well this is a converging lens again the light rays are converging from this lens after refracting through that lens they are converging at so at a point exactly on retina now you can see here the image is clear image that's right here the type of lens which is used to correct this defect is convex concave and what is the, uh, the definition of myopia the person who can see near objects but cannot see far objects that's great which type of lens will use here concave lens is also known as diverging lens is it clear so whenever you will get the question write a short note on myopia you should draw three three diagrams let me show you those diagrams here so basically the near objects they can see clearly but far away objects they can't see clearly it means unclear so this is a far point here one more question what is far point look at the far point and they can see near object is it right up to some distance so this is the point up to which they can see the object that point is known as far point the point up to which a person who is suffering with myopia defect they can see the object is it clear they can see the object up to this distance only so the distance up to which they can see the object that distance is far distance or the that point end point is known as far point and behind this point anywhere if you will keep object they can't see the object clearly and they will get blurred image that is before retina as we have discussed in the previous slide is it right yeah that's great now look at here here is the distance up to which they can see the object clearly it means this is the far point up to which we'll get the image on 
retina is it right and behind this point if you keep anywhere you will not get the image on retina you will get exactly in front of retina that's great now look at here the light rays from a distance object gets converged at a point in front of the retina for whom those who are suffering with defect myopia so those who are suffering with this defect for them the light rays will converge in front of the retina so what are the causes this defect may arise due to elongation of eyeball elongation means a change in shape of this eyeball and excessive curvature of the cornea here okay uh, cornea this outer surface is known as cornea excessive change in curvature of the cornea and uh, eye lens what i said this is our eye lens increase or decrease in focal length of the eye lens will also uh, may arise the getting the defect of myopia okay defect myopia here and how to correct it yeah that's great by keeping the lens which type of lens so this is my myopia defect i you can see here where we are getting the image means converging point is before retina so to uh, to defer to correct this defect we know very well which type of lens will use concave is also known as diverging lens and of appropriate focal length okay if you will take more focal length then you will get the image behind retina if you will take less focal length again you will get before retina only and appropriate focal length of that lens only we should choose then only we will get the image on exactly retina here you can see defected and this is corrected which type of lens it is bulged inward that's great concave lens is also known as diverging lens here you can see how the light rays will get diverge here you can see the divergent light rays and here is our converging lens again the light rays will converge and here we will get the uh, image exactly on the retina so is it clear and always remember the power of lens is always negative so if i'll give you the power of lens is minus 1.5 d and i will ask you one question the person who is suffering with which defect they will get the power is negative your answer is that's great myopia is it clear and the person who is suffering with uh, uh, hypermetropia what uh, what is the power of the lens always plus plus is for hypermetropia and minus is for myopia is it clear minus what is power of lens as we have discussed in the previous class you can see that power of lens p is equal to 1 by f in meters and p is equal to 100 by f in centimeters we have discussed in the lecture number 1 okay now if i'll ask you to find if the power of lens is minus 2d the person is suffering with which type of defect one is myopia excellent answer and which type of lens we should use to correct this defect that is the second question that's great concave lens and third question why we should use the concave lens only why not convex because concave lenses are diverging lenses they will diverge the light rays so we will use diverging lens here because why we will use concave lens means because concave lenses are diverging lenses to divert the light rays to get the image exactly on the retina if we will use convex they are the converging lens is it right again instead of here we will get the image uh, before that point only somewhere here again they will get converge again they will get converge it means in front of this point only not behind this point is it right one more question where we will get the image for the person who is suffering with myopia before correction that's correct for two question is before retina before retina 
or in front of retina in front of retina so what is four point next question four point fifth question that's correct the person who is suffering with myopia defect they can see up to a distance point they can see object up to a distance point that point is known as far point means behind that point they can't see any object okay and to whom will get this defect that is another question for aged students or uh, for aged persons or the younger student or middle aged persons this is for angers is it right the age we are having uh, below 20 or below 25 to them only for them only will get this defect basically below 25 like 15 16 17 18 like you students if you are having spectacles definitely you are suffering with the defect myopia and your power of lens is always negative only you can check with your lens or you as a specialist and the specialist you can ask them what is the power of my lens definitely they will give the answer is negative value minus 0.5 minus 1.5 minus 1.25 minus 0.75 like that they will tell you is it clear thank you so much and uh, we'll meet in the next lecture number 3 thank you